Aside from our previous video about mini lion lob, there is still some information you need to know. Providing food. Rabbits both dwell in and consume masses of grass, so you must place loads of fresh grass in the enclosure regularly. Brome hay and Timothy hay are excellent options for rabbit supplies. There's no requirement to place the hay in a bowl, merely spatter it throughout the enclosure. Rabbit grains include necessary minerals like fiber and protein. When your mini lop is yet a toddler, present it unrestricted grains. Mature mini lops can take 1 8 cup of grains for every 5 pounds of body mass. During the rabbit's development, present raw vegetables to heighten its nutrition. 2 cups a day of turnip greens, spinach, and collard greens are the most suitable option, however, you can likewise supply your rabbit the particular carrot. Rabbit's denture evolves continually during their endurance, and it's essential to present them with something to nibble on so they won't grow long and painful. You can purchase rabbit grinds at the pet shop, and provide your rabbit a distinct one every week or such. Rabbits require admittance to loads of fresh waters. Get a water container intended for a rabbit enclosure or establish some water in a shallow plate. Make sure you replace the water regularly and wipe out the plate steadily. Make sure you settle the bottle level enough for the mini lob to stretch. Providing shelter. Mini lops are small animals, though they prefer to hold loads of expanse to bounce around. Seek for an enclosure or coop created particularly for rabbits. It must be 0.9 to 1.2 meters, 3 to 4 feet, wide, 0.6 meters, 2 feet, deep, and about 0.9 meters, 3 feet, high. The base and surfaces must be built of cable, not glass because the rabbit will require loads of fresh breeze to circulate throughout the enclosure. If you choose to work with an outdoor cage, set it in a dark place so that the rabbit doesn't blister throughout the summer. You might require to warm the cage during winter if the condition flops low. It's likewise essential to prevent possible predators apart. Birds of prey, felines, canines, and foxes are all considered vulnerable to a rabbit. If you possess a cable enclosure, first place it with board lumber so that the rabbit's paws won't get captured, then embrace the lumber with grass or covers. With this approach, your rabbit will be ready to create a simple, comfortable den. Apply solely grass that is recommended for application in a rabbit enclosure. Never utilize stale hay or grass from a specialist you don't recognize in support, and never apply cedar or pine wood peelings. The smog can damage rabbit's inner glands. If you install a tiny litter receptacle in the mini lops enclosure, he will console himself in that corresponding place rather than moving away, building removal much more comfortable, though some bunnies may want to be taught. You can obtain a tiny, rabbit-sized litter receptacle at pet shops. Place the litter box with a sheet, then lay grass or paper beads on the cover. Several masters of mini lops love to carry their rabbits out to lark. Restrict your rabbit's activity place to one field that has been completely rabbit-proof so that the mini lop won't get injured. Discard electrical ropes and lines, delicate or bulky objects that could topple over, and other parts you don't desire to be gnawed. Things to avoid. A rabbit with a pointed nose, or narrow or long head. Folded ears, thin, thick, narrow, or poor ear carriage. Refrain ears that do not open approaching the chops, and ears with slim hair mini lops must not hold a body that is flat, long, and narrow. They must not be chopped or undercut at the hind limes. A large jawbone is an error. Mini lops must not possess a narrow bone. Examine the color pattern for fingernail color incompetence. Refrain a fur that is very short, thin, harsh, thicky, or long. Several dispersed white coats in a stable patterned rabbit is a blunder, as our unfinished face impressing on a dilapidated model rabbit. Burst with such prominent shade on the point that the marking is not obvious is a slight mistake. Eye color that does not resemble adopted color blemishes, no head indicating damage, and a dispute with less than 10% pigment, are rejections. Although mini lobs are small, they are powerful and very whimsical but likewise greatly friendly and most companionable creatures making them a fabulous competitor for an indoor pet. Mini lops are frequently very easy to heed and are a favorite breed for pets because of their size and fun-loving character. When rabbits shed, they commonly begin by dropping hair from their head, which settles down the nape and rear and then down the sides of their body, ending on their rump. Care requirements. Miniature lion lops are considered friendly and even-tempered. Your mini lion lops should have the opportunity to spend some time exploring the great outdoors, whether you decide to let him live indoors or outside. When housing a mini lion lop outside, make sure the hutch is large enough for your pet to hop around, stand up on his hind legs, and turn around comfortably. The enclosure should be kept out of direct wind and sun, and it should be totally waterproof and weatherproof, as well as protected from predators. When housed indoors, you can train your pet to use a litter tray, 
and you should also provide him with a safe and quiet place where he can relax and be alone if he wants to, such as a dog crate. Rabbit proof your home to ensure your belongings, including wires and cables, will not be chewed on, and give your rabbit room to run around and play safely. Whether your miniature lion lop lives indoors or in your garden, you will need to give him access to a big exercise area, particularly in the early morning and late evening, when his energy will be highest. Keeping your mini lion lop healthy. A rabbit's enclosure or coop must be washed out hebdomadal. Have a buddy manage your rabbit or place it in a coop or transport while you deliver the enclosure a meticulous cleansing. Toss out the former grass and newspaper, clean the enclosure with warm, foamy water drain it, and stuff it with fresh grass and newspaper. Rabbits don't wish to be washed since they take responsibility for that themselves. Though, they do properly with light grazing. Apply a soft fiber brush to get custody of your bunny's coat every so often. Mini lops shed when they're grown-ups, and when you notice this occurring, you can further separate the hair employing a wire brush. When you're touching a rabbit, the primary practice to master is that you must never pluck one up through the ears. A rabbit's ears are weak and delicate, and this could create lasting harm. Rather, set one hand beneath his back area and the other between his forelimbs. Take the rabbit adjacent to your breast and keep him there carefully. When you're set to set him down, bend down and lightly relax him on the ground. Rabbits clearly adore to leap around, and they require to be equipped to do such for several hours regularly to remain robust. Bring your bunny outside of his enclosure and frolic with him periodically. If you hold a contained outdoor space, you can allow the bunny toy by himself, yet don't make him out of your vision for too long. He requires exceptional details to investigate and nibble. Place several cardboard cartons or old receiver manuals in the enclosure for him to munch. You can likewise play with your rabbit utilizing a slack feline ball or toy. Rabbits adore to act together, and your mini lop will be more satisfied with a buddy. Be certain to take another mini lop and a not different breed of rabbit. And make positive both rabbits are neutered or spayed, so you don't settle with a litter of toddlers on your hands. When you first take your current mini lion lop rabbit home, the rabbit will be very anxious and fearful. It may not consume or swallow for a day or such. This is entirely common, and you can assume to possess a pleasant and dynamic rabbit in several days. It is suggested that you drop the rabbit in your enclosure for most of the prime day. It will be alluring to get the bunny and lark with him, though he requires the freedom to adapt to his current surroundings. Following a day, you can start to carry him to your place in other spaces. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.